Hey, 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 twins. How's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. So I'm coming to you with a Twin Flame love reading energy update. We're going to take a look and see what's happening for you guys on the Twin Flame journey. I have tarot. I have oracle cards. Um, yeah, let's see what's happening. Um, quick few announcements. And let's see. I am doing personal love readings, okay? If you're interested, check me out. Um, I do have my holiday sale going on the last few days. My tarot and oracle decks are 15% off, okay? Um, and also, let me know if you guys would be interested in me doing a twin flame tarot scope for the year 2022. Um, I'm doing it for all my zodiac signs on my main channel for Serendipity Tarot. And I didn't want to leave you guys out. I wasn't thinking about doing it, but I was like, why not? Where basically I go in depth. For each month, January through December of 2022, and look at anything regarding this connection. It could also include career, um, other partnerships as well. But if you want me to stick to the Twin Flame connection, I can do that. But let me know if you're interested. It would be as an extended on Vimeo. Um, it takes a lot of time and energy from me. I really channel a lot of messages. I put my all into it. And um, again, it's for every month. I go into depth as to what you can experience. Okay, so if you're interested, put me, uh, you know, say something in the comments. Um, I'll definitely read the comments and uh, try to see if you guys are interested and um, I'll do it. Okay, so let's jump right in messages for the twins at the very end i am gonna do um pick a few of my charms okay <laughs> all right so i think you guys liked it from the last video so i figured why not so stick around to the end i'm gonna pick a few charms and get some more messages all right let's see what's happening here messages for my twins on the twin flame journey what is going on any all messages for this connection all right, we got the world, the world cosmos. A lot of changes happening with the world card. This speaks about karma, fated events destined to happen, right? A lot of you guys, there's something that could unexpectedly be changing. And you may not be aware of this because, well, the universe is in control, okay? And so when this world card comes out, there's a message of surrendering, letting go of control issues, letting things go and flow the way that it should, right? Not trying to stop it, uh, trying to just, just go with the flow of things. And we also have the muse of inspiration. So what this is kind of like, oh gosh, correct me if I'm wrong. This is like the Knight of Wands, right? The muse, I think that's the Knight, okay? Um, knight or Page. But what it's telling me, this is really about change, right? This is about action. There is the energy of wanting to take action toward this connection, the moon. But there's some fears. There's some insecurities. There's some doubts. There's there's emotions here that is getting to your person where they feel the need to hide, right? Um, there's that energy of um, wanting not to be seen, right? So the moon speaks about things that are done behind closed doors, things that are not seen, okay? And I feel like your person's in the energy of wanting change, wanting movement with that wand energy, but there could be some fears and doubts about it and they're kind of like not wanting to speak about their, their next moves towards you. We have the five of cups, five of emotions here. So it's speaking about a lot of feelings, emotions that are coming up to the surface. And in particular, there's something regarding a past event, things um, that may have been done in the past, okay? Feelings, maybe something that your twin has said to you that wasn't nice, that was wrong. And I feel like there could be a lot of guilt and remorse and disappointment about themselves for how they treated you. That five of cups is thinking about something here they've done where they're not proud of. Of. it's not something that they're looking back on like yeah a pat in the back no they're not happy about it at all we have the high priestess so just like the moon card this speaks about secrets right and what it's saying your person is in that very secretive energy again not revealing and this can be very deceiving to you guys because you may get the impression that oh your person has moved on they don't care they're not even thinking about you but it's not entirely true it's just that your person is in this emotional place and they don't want to be seen like this they don't want to be seen at an all-time low they don't want to be seen as being affected by this breakup or separation they don't want to come across as being emotional especially if you're dealing with the divine masculine divine masculine does not want to be seen as weak okay they don't want to be seen as feeling um vulnerable or being um exposed in some way okay 
we have an awakening beautiful card of awakening okay there's a waking up of one's senses becoming more aware becoming more attuned aligned wanting to come together unity right there's an energy of something here your person has been hiding and running away from from some time and now there's the energy of i want to face my fears i no longer want to live in this dark place anymore and so this waking up is the energy of What's going on, again, behind the scenes, you're not aware of this, but your person is slowly waking up to what this relationship really is about, what this connection is, okay, um, energetically, right? They're feeling it, and there's something here that's coming out, rebirth. I'm getting a energy of a rebirth, a resurrection, okay, of something that may have died. Now, we got the Ten of Emotions, the Ten of Emotions, like the Ten of Cups, right? And there's the energy of wanting to be happy. I, you know, this is someone who wants to chase their happy. They're inspired to be happy again. And that awakening is bringing forth that energy of, you know, wanting to fight for happiness, believing that, yeah, I am entitled to being happy and I don't need to um, hide and not show myself and live in fear of being seen. And I feel like your person wants a breakthrough, yeah, with that awakening card. Nine of materials, okay? So we have the nine of pentacles. So I feel like there's an energy of your person um, feeling as if it's better that they're left alone, right? The nine of pentacles I can do for myself. I'm, I'm independent. I'm in my soul energy. There's someone here where your person just feels like, they're better off alone. And I think this is that mindset that they've had for a really long time, which could be why they pushed your way to begin with, which is why they were not ready for the connection because it's almost like they're afraid to rely on someone or have someone hold them up or support them. It was like they're afraid of partnerships or commitments because they feel like if I if I if I put my trust in someone or if I rely that someone here is going to hold me up or support me and they fail, I'm going to just fall down. And there's the energy of your person not trusting people, right? Not trusting, again, like uh, love in general. So it's almost like they felt it was safer to be alone and on their own and by themselves than having to rely on someone and having a partner or a companionship that could hold them and support them, okay? That's someone that they could kind of like go to and um, trust, you know? They'd rather not trust anyone. So that is the energy your person has been in for a really long time. And I feel like that is something that they're breaking away from with this awakening card. They're wanting to break away from that mentality, that mindset, that they're better off alone, okay? Now we have the Knight of Emotions, the Knight of Cups energy. Your person is really thinking about taking action, right? So that Muse of Inspiration was that page of, of wands, and then we have this Knight of Cups. So there's the energy of being inspired to come to you and pursue you in love, to make an offer, to express oneself, get up out of their shell, wake up, and um, awakening to this connection by expressing your feelings. There's something your person's been hiding for a really long time. Their feelings, I'm getting a repression and living in the dark. And that's not fun. They're realizing that I'm not going to get my Ten of Cups in this darkness. Six of Cups, six of emotions, a lot of memories, thoughts, okay, reminiscing of the past, the good times, the events that were shared, memories you guys have built upon. So there's a lot of nostalgia, a lot of missing you, um, and thinking about how wonderful at one point things were, where you guys could just be yourself and live in the moment and just look at each other's in each other's eyes and smile and goof around and, you know, just be yourself. And that is something they miss. They're looking back on how great that was. Ten of Pentacles, so we have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, we got the Awakening Energy, and this Ten of Pentacles is really about working toward rebuilding their life, rebuilding the foundation of which you guys have. Um, there's something that they really see a future with you. They see the Ten of Cups, they see the Ten of Pentacles, they see stability, see happiness coming together, uh, renewal. They see themselves as being in this place where, you know, they can have have both, you know, um, they can feel secure in their connections, they could feel like they're building something for the long term. And that's what they want. So let's see what else we can find out for you guys in this twin flame connection. Love yourself first. So 
this person is struggling with loving themselves, right? You guys are on a journey, a lot of you are in separation because it could be something you're learning as well, self-love, putting yourself first, right? If you love yourself, you allow other people to love you back. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So there's the energy. Yeah, I want to be real. I want to express my heartfelt feelings, emotions. I want to let you know what's really going on. So there's something that's going on. The heart chakra could be healing right now. And there's a lot of feelings that wants to come to the surface. And I feel like your person is, they may struggle with being honest about their feelings, but we have the energy of honestly discussing your feelings with each other. And that is something that your person struggled with, right? The moon the high priestess i don't want to share my feelings it's too uncomfortable and now what they wish more than ever is that they were able to express themselves right they weren't so damn secretive getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other uh, your bond deepens so that is what something here uh that is what was missing your person wasn't ready to go deep right they weren't ready to go deep and dive in into your, your your real selves who you were underneath it all your person just wanted to keep things cool and casual and free and you know and when it came time to really get to know each other who you were your inner your innermost selves right at the, the deep soul level that scared the hell out of your person and that's when this person ran off that's you know this is someone here who's really afraid with being that vulnerable uh, being that vulnerable place there's a fear here and you see this person's energy with this high priestess energy it's like they're only showing you half their face you know so this person doesn't like to be seen they don't like for you to know what's really going on inside of them and that's something that they really um try to hide and, and really you know and getting really put off getting to know each other on that level separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon so it's speaking about right now you guys will be staying in separation maybe to the end of the year for you guys and you deserve love you are lovable okay so even though you're not together with your person in the 3d dimension don't lose hope don't lose faith right it doesn't mean you're never going to be together again but there's still separation um here because there's still work to be done right that's what that means it means that you guys are not ready yet it means your person still has a lot of work to do overcoming obstacles and fears and getting to know who they really are um their innermost selves and being able to express that right we have beyond the ego, surrender to the flow of life. So we talked about surrendering very briefly. There is the act of surrendering, letting go. A lot of you guys, your person has to let go of their ego. They had a big ego and that interfered in this connection a, a great deal. And it's telling me that there's an the energy of now letting things go, going with the flow, letting things naturally occur and not fighting it, not resisting everything, not resisting something that actually feels good. It could be a good thing for them, right? beyond your fears farewell to fear phantoms okay so yeah there's the energy of your person um overthinking something right in their head anxiety worries this isn't good for me nightmares sleepless nights there's something about them facing their fears once and for all facing their fears of vulnerability of commitment of love of you know not trusting people thinking that people are going to hurt them face their fears that is something your person has to work on right now overcoming the 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 fear of wanting to express one's true self um farewell say goodbye say goodbye because it's not serving them anymore right Speak out, speak out, communicate, and solve the conflict. So your person knows that if they actually... Um if they actually could communicate, because that's something that they really want to do, right? If they actually could communicate, it would actually... You'd be in a better place. Because there's something about if they speak out, if they speak their truth, be honest with you, um, it would actually resolve a lot of the conflicts that you guys are having right now. But that is your person's biggest problem, speaking up, speaking their truth, being honest, heart to heart. There's something regarding communicating this person does not know how to do. Okay, we have the energy of love and return to joy. 
energy of love behold the world through the eyes of love so there's something about getting in the energy of love being ready to accept love being open and available to love right a lot of you your person had issues with love they didn't look at people as good or good beings and they didn't trust them and so therefore they couldn't love if you're so untrusting if you're untrusting of people you don't feel like they have a good heart how could you be available to love how could you be ready to open and receive love and that is something your person has to work on being ready and being open to love being in the energy of love right and we have return to joy we are here to experience joy. There's something about your person having to let go a little. Stop being so uptight, so resistant, so um, trying to be in control of everything, you know? Just be, you know, be able to be free. Surrender, right? Return to joy. Be childlike. Be ready to just be happy. Smile and, you know, enjoy the experience. And that is something here where your person took away from the experience because they were such such an overthinker. They overthink and it stopped them from experiencing joy of love, right? They didn't see love as being a joyful thing because there was so much anxiety and stress regarding it. So, all right. It says, um, trust your gut feeling. Trust your gut feeling. This is like listening to that uh, inner self, right? Listen to your intuition. Let your heart lead you to who you are. So right now, you guys are being led um, down maybe a different path because, well, right now, coming together just isn't feasible. It just wouldn't work out. There's work to be done on the individual level. What it's also telling me is a lot of you guys, you have to trust the process. Trust that something here is going to work out for your divine good. You have a gut feeling, that little gut feeling you have when something's wrong or you know listen to your gut feeling listen to that inner um your inner self it, it's guiding you in this connection it's guiding you down some path um i also feel like your person has issues with trusting themselves trusting their intuition you know and that could have been what led them down this other path which, which led them astray from you so let your heart lead you there's something here about your person not trusting their heart maybe they were broken Okay, broken hearted. <laughs> uh, someone here who was struggled with, um, again, giving their heart to people because it was broken by someone in the past. Maybe a bad relationship here. All right, let's see. Any other messages? We have turn over a new page. Let love lead the way for change so there's something about starting a new beginning putting yourself out there some of you guys you're being um you're ready to start new okay maybe new love maybe you guys are saying you know what i'm not gonna wait for this person anymore i'm gonna put myself out there i'm gonna just love myself love all up on myself okay and we have way of faith let faith be your guide, okay? So having faith in the process, faith, hope, optimism, right? So there's something about you having faith that everything is going to work out just the way it should, all right? Um, any other messages we have for my twins out there? And again, stick around to the end because I'm going to pick a few charms out. All right, we have the failure card. So your person feels like a failure, they messed up, they ruined this connection, they ruined this opportunity they have with you. Um, five of Cups, a lot of regrets, remorse about how they perform. They're constantly thinking about you, all in their feelings and emotions. And this world card is allowing this person to see we're going through a big awakening, right? And they're feeling like a failure. But it says, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So the good news is that your person is finally learning. They're learning that, yeah, yeah, I've made a mistake, but I can change that. I can do better. I know if I was given a second chance, I wouldn't make that same mistake again, right? We have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. So your person acted as if they knew everything. Trying to be in control. I'm always right. You're always wrong. And this person, you know, it came from a place of doubt. They weren't confident in who they are. And what it's telling me is that your person can have a lot of doubt about their abilities to transform this connection now. A reason why your person hasn't actually come to you and have this heart-heart conversation with you is because they're feeling... Uh, something is holding them back, fear, doubt, insecurities, right? I'm not good enough. I will never be good enough. I can't love. I'm not deserving of love. All those negative thoughts, right? 
We have the blame. Some of you guys, your person blamed you as if you were the one who did this. You were at fault for all this, knowing damn well they did it, okay? Um, I accept responsibility for my well-being. So your person is now realizing and acknowledging that they're at fault. They're the ones who destroyed this. They're the ones to blame. All point fingers at them, right? Um, they're responsible for where they are right now. They're responsible for this, this misery that they've created, this, this place of havoc that they're in right now. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So your person hasn't given up. There's the energy of still fighting for something. I'm going to persevere. That nine of wands energy. I'm not done. I just need to work on some things first, right? So that is what I'm seeing now. You guys, I am going to start and um, pick a few charms here. And um, yeah, I'm just going to include this at maybe some of my readings. If you guys enjoy me adding charms to your readings at the end of um, the spread, I will certainly continue to do that. So let's see what messages do we have for my twins here. Okay. All right, so right off the bat, um, what I'm seeing is a number eight. The number eight is about change in tarot. The number eight is also about recognizing your limitations, right, and trying to move past them. Um, so this could be a situation where there are some challenges, but your person wants to, right, persevere. They want to move past this. They want to overcome these challenges. You know, they're realizing that there, there are some things that they could have done differently, right? This speaks about staying within your bounds. And um, I feel like your person person is now wanting to break away right wanting to be released wanting to let go um so what else do we have we have um what's this we have the cross okay so some of you guys are maybe very spiritual at this time um i don't know what you guys your spiritual background is doesn't really matter but there's definitely something about your person now wanting to reach for help okay uh, maybe reaching help on the spiritual realm, maybe being more spiritual, maybe praying about it. There's something about them taking time to really connect with themselves. We got a lot of hearts here. We got at least two hearts. So this is speaking about healing, healing of the heart chakra. We have a big hollow heart and this particular uh, heart is very hollow, okay? It's full of um, nothing, air, right? And so there's something about your person feeling empty, feeling empty because they don't have the love that they want, okay? Now, we also have this heart, but it has a key, and there's no key with it, but they're F. Oh, wow, there is a key, y'all, okay? So what I'm seeing is that there's a key and there's a locket. Look at that. Now, it doesn't fit, so, you know, what it's telling me is that your person is working on finding that right fit, working on closing the gap between you guys, working to get back in your life, wanting to experience love with you. So, we're coming really close. This particular key did not fit in this locket, uh, in this particular key, but what it's saying is that you are still the key to their heart. There is no other person for them. They're recognizing that, okay? Now, we also have um, a hair clip, okay? It's the color blue. Maybe some of you guys, your person's uh, favorite color was the number, uh, color blue, but we also have a hair clip, which could be speaking about them. Maybe they uh, like to play with your hair. Some of you guys, or something about your hair. Maybe they always accomplish complimented you and your hair they just like to touch your hair maybe you guys recently changed your hair they're acknowledging a change in your hair a color change there's something about your hair okay that, that i'm seeing here um we also have this what wrench okay some of you guys your person was very good with tools okay they um there's something about wanting to screw things back on wanting to work on themselves this could be working on bettering themselves working on their bettering their body their physique um this could be of many different things, but this can also be their, their line of work. Maybe their work with the tools and stuff. All right, we also have the butterfly, the butterfly energy. Um, we actually have, what's this? A butterfly and an angel, okay? So the butterfly speaks about transformation, right? The butterfly is a beautiful energy. It's about, you know, blossoming into a beautiful butterfly, change, transform. Um, I feel like your person is recognizing and seeing the beauty of this connection and it may have taken some time, right? Um, we also have a tree. 
what's this it says my family my love some of you guys you have a family with this person maybe there's children involved here i feel like this person misses their family they would want to be together with their family especially around the holidays okay now we also have a birthday candle some of you guys maybe you celebrated a birthday recently within the last three months or something regarding a birthday they wish they had uh, celebrated something with you maybe they have a birthday coming up they want to hear from you there's something regarding a birthday here okay and what's this? We have like two, um, this is like buckle. So something about buckle up, buckle up, get ready. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Maybe this person um, didn't buckle up. Maybe they drove really fast. They didn't really, uh, they weren't really safe. But there's two buckles, okay? And it's funny, it came out two buckles, two in particular. So there's definitely energy of like a two of cups energy. You guys belong to uh, each other, with each other. There's definitely about coming together, okay? Um, um, we also have what's for you will not pass you wow what's for you will not pass you so this is kind of like the energy of if it's for you it's meant for you it's coming to you you don't have to worry about it right this person isn't going to find someone else they're not going to you know there's the energy of if this is truly your person if you're divinely supposed to be coming together if, you're, if it's divinely orchestrated and the universe wants you to be together it will happen so what's for you won't pass you it will not pass you it's already yours okay um and we have some what is this some kind of like tool energy there's some kind of sharp edges maybe your person has a little bit of a um i'm getting temper or they may say things that could be very hurtful and cutting okay if so that is something that they're thinking about right now maybe they said some really hurtful things and they wish they hadn't okay and we have something here that kind of bends okay we have something about Bending. There's something about being flexible, okay? Not bending backwards for you. They wish they had bent backwards for you. Um, they wish they had been there for you. There's something also like a comb. Again, there's something regarding the hair, okay? Um, but that's what I'm seeing, you guys. And thank you for tuning in and sharing your energy with me and um that is it let me know again in the comments if you want me to do the year 2022 tarot scope for my twins out there it would be an in-depth look for each month from january through december as to what could be going on in the twin twin connection and it could be a series of tarot oracle cards charms all that and so let me know if you're interested okay bye